first idea that we have is almost never the one that we build. My name is Richard Olcott. I'm a design partner at ENIAD. The thing that's wonderful about our design culture is that there, there is no one single voice. There is no agenda. Uh, there is no formula. Uh, there are a number of very strong designers here uh, who have different points of view but somehow share uh, a collective attitude towards architecture. My name is Don Weinreich. I'm a partner at ENIAD Architects and I'm in charge of computation and information technology as well as running projects. Well, the design culture here is very vibrant and exciting. Um, what I love about it is actually it's dynamism. There are a lot of collaborations that go on. Everybody has to work together in order to pull off the complexity of the projects that we have. I think there's nothing more important than dialogue with our clients. Uh, we try very hard to be good listeners and uh, to understand what their aspirations are, what their needs are, and and to try and design a kind of place that, that doesn't overshoot some of those needs, but at the same time is as, as we can reach as high as possible. Well, technology actually plays a big part in how we develop the concept, explain it to ourselves initially and explore it, and then through that we're able to take it to a client. So where it's really most valuable is helping a client see with an architect's eyes. Well, before we really had to anticipate what the client was most interested in and spend a lot of time delineating the issues that we thought were important, it was either a prescribed fly-through, the animation would run, then it would end, and that was it, and you could run it again, but you couldn't really deviate from that. The first time I saw Medela, the, the, the thing that struck me the most about it was it just kind of makes you feel happy when you use it. It's very kind of bouncy and lively. And so many other programs, you know, they're very tedious to navigate. It's just felt like it was come on in and play. And I think Modelo is one of the best tools that allows us to very quickly become immersed in a design and feel what that space is. And the client would be able to explore um, that design at their own pace, at their own leisure. That was one of the most revolutionary things that, that I noticed when I started using Modelo. We actually, uh, I know we've, we've been very early adopters, but we actually took it to one of our very first uh, uh, meetings, actually to the interview we had for a project at Stanford University. Um, and we're able to just project the model on a, on a wall and they were able to say, can we go into that room or that room? And you know, we were able to literally drive around inside of a model. I think it's really helped us be able to make decisions quicker. Um, I can immediately see in three dimensions what something will look like um, in a really easy way. Um, and then the ability then to comment on it or have to go back to the office to look at it or you know people like me tend to spend a lot of time on the road when I'm on the road and I have uh, my iPad I can literally be in a car um, looking at a model that someone has just sent me rolling it around drawing on it commenting on it sending it back you know so that in real time it, it's just in, it's incredibly great and immediate in that uh, there's certain design leads in our office that refuse to look at a Rhino model or a Revit model anymore. They're only going to look at uh, a Modelo model, and that's because it's just really fast and very easy to navigate through it. Um, I would also say that it is an extremely good way for you to understand your own designs, because I find if I'm putting together a model, um, even if it's just for myself, I'm going to throw it into Modelo uh, to visualize it. I'm not going to look at it in a Rhino. I'm not going to look at it in a Revit. Um, it's, just, it's just so much easier for you to understand your entire design um, in all of its dimensions. If you think about a staircase, right, in a design process, and we're trying to go move forward, you can take the stairs, right? You can get to the next level, but it'll take some time. Or you can take the elevator, it'll get you a little bit faster. Uh, and with Modelo, I feel like I have a jetpack. Uh, one of the great gifts that Modelo has given us is we can spend much less time worrying about and planning presentations and 
much more time spent on design. So that's really the gift of time that all goes back to design. So it allows us to be better designers. Modelo is a jetpack to supercharge your design process.